they already started. Yes. And it is Meister versus Ao Aos? AOS. AOS. Losing stop paid. So Meister was sent to losing by... Seagull? Oh, Seagull. Joe. Right, Seagull Joe. The champion of the people. So I remember I was seeing Esam versus Seagull, uh, Esam versus Meister. That was a losing set. Yeah, for top eight. For top eight. Some amazing upsets just happened this set. But we're going to be seeing another run back of Zero Suit in Game and Watch. Um, yeah, everybody has a pocket Zero Suit for Meister. They're saying, yo, this character beat, wins the matchup. You, you're about to feel the wrath. But uh, as I was saying this set before when Esam was playing, it feels like it's going to be... Um, yeah. It feels like it's going to be the same situation as, like, the Hungry Box in Melee. Mm -hmm. If For those that watch Melee, a lot of people are going to start switching their characters to, like, just play Meister for a winning matchup like Palu or ZSS. And that's basically going to give Meister all the XP. And yep. he's going to just, like, take over. Man, that's, that's how I see what's going to happen. Yeah, um, but just, like, right now, I feel like AOS is just struggling to get much started on Meister. Like, he's, like, missing all of his Zeus. And because, like, Meister's, like, playing really, really patiently, he's just, like, playing just outside of Zeus in post range. Yeah. And as a result, like, the only thing, like, we see AOS getting is just a couple of stray hits here and there. And then he, like, he gets, like, a little bit blown up by Meister, I feel like. Yeah, definitely. Oh, good. Managed to get over that side B. But you see Meister going for these full hop um, dares off stage, just trying to get catch AOS with like a bad recovery. Mm -hmm. uh, trying to parry punish this Zero. And honestly, that's just like such like a huge call out of, I am so confident in the timing of this, yeah. that like I'm going to parry this even if it doesn't get the punish. It's just like saying, you need to mix up your landing options right now. Yeah, and you saw Meister only just covered ledge right there and he just took the stock because um, AOS was like, yo, he's not going to cover another yep. time, but Meister just kept doing it. Mm -hmm. Running right into the grab. Um, trying to get the roll read, but that up smash, wow, still not going to take it at 100-something percent. Yeah, that Battlefield was, that, has such a huge ceiling. Yeah, Battlefield is big. Big stage, man. Only going to keep growing. I feel not going to take it either. Okay, up smash right there. You can't land on top of her like that. But that's Meister's first dog gone, and AOS is on his last. Mm -hmm. But Zero Suit is no stranger to early stocks either. Like all, of, all like AOS is really going to be looking for is like one of those um, neutral like down bees at ledge. If he is able to connect it, it's a pretty decent window from what I know at like 30 something percent. Yeah, but Meister, again, he's played this match a lot. So he, he's no stranger to for ZSS trying to change him out like that. So he's definitely not going to just lose to something like that. Down throw, up B right there again, the little extra tack on. Wow, and you saw my six positioning with the up smash. He had the right idea that AOS was just going to down B into him, but he was just ever so slightly off with the spacing. Yeah. But Meister had the right idea. Oh. The right okay. one? Yeah, Meister had the right idea. Well, you got a hammer. The KO spike just showed up, and that's it. That was talk. That yeah. was it. He's gone. Yeah, of yep. course. That's how this works. What, what do you think this is? Man. Say in a game? Say in a game. This is Game & Watch Simulator. It's not a game, it's just a simulation. Anyhow, going into game two, I feel like, I don't know, it, it feels like this is pretty convincingly right now in Meister's lead. He, AOS really needs to mix up the way he is landing on top of Game & Watch, and Meister is really calling out those defensive habits of how he's getting back to stage a lot. Yeah. Okay, and I you saw right there, AOS ran to the edge of the stage and just waited for Meister to mm -hmm. approach. So Game & Watch, Approach options aren't the best in the game. You could be scared of bucket, but or bear, but they're not really as disjointed as the other people. Mm -hmm. So he's second. He went in. He just caught him and that almost, almost died. That yeah. almost took the stock. I thought it did kill. And I really like that Meister went for the up B the ledge. He was actually trying to hit AOS when he was still um, in the free fall of his up B. Um, but again, like just slightly missed on the execution, but he had the right idea. Ultimately, trying to go for the dash and read with the down smash, uh, not finding it though. Yeah. Oh, uh, coming down with a doubt with Dare. 
I like uh, the way that AOS is using up smash to anti Agumai's too. You've seen him connect it like multiple more often than not, and the times that he whiffs it, like it's relatively unpunished. Yeah. So, because Meister just knows that, like, I can't be above him, because I can't challenge this move. So, even if he does do it, while Meister is, my, while Meister is, like, trying to shark Meister, Meister ain't gonna do much about it. Yep. Up throw, not ah. gonna be it. Just managing to go to the corner. Great di. He but needed another to get a couple one. of more pummels in. Yeah. That would have definitely been the stop. Yeah, he tried to get him with the DI mix up. Oh, that, he was in him. That's the that's the what? dead zone. That's the Roy zone, man. Well, and he's dead. Because he got the tech, he, he oh, I think he pineappled on when he tried to jump as well. Yeah. Um he probably tried to get the tech jump and just didn't go anywhere. Yeah. It's so unfortunate because AOS had the lead too. But oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that could have been a nine, man. And we would have saw AOS have two stocks gone. Yep. I mean, right now, like, AOS needs to commit to something to find the kill. He's trying to go for those grabs, but he doesn't want to commit to up B because, you know, if he gets caught in that default, put the side B, the late hit of it is going to be the one to take out the stock. 61%, um, a little bit out of range for a lot of Game & Watch's low percent combos. Um, though AOS is just really, really need to start something. I feel like in this game so far, he's been able to convert off of a lot more than he did in the first one. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I, I find it really funny when Meister does the little hammers, the judgment hammers underneath, just to see, like, yo, what number am I going to get? Mm -hmm. No, this one? It's like he's just trying to push them away for his nine, eventually. Well, he just dashed attack to right into it. Maybe uh, he just, like, waited out for it a little bit, but that was so close to being missed out. Yeah, what? He, he directional air dodge and just died, died. from it. Could he have lived with a down B and then a jump? Oh, um, maybe. Yeah. But uh, it just felt like he was in too much lag. Oh so my maybe God. if he did neutral air dodge. And now he's just being He has sharked. no jump. This is so difficult to land against a game and watch with up airs when you don't have necessarily the best landing options and you're missing a jump. That's very tough. But at less than 100%, that's going to be the upbeat. Yeah, the row behind upbeat. I didn't even think he had enough time to be in that. Must to even hit him with that. But mm -hmm. he was just in enough stun for that to work. But Game Watch right now has a full bucket on Zero Suits Neutral B. That is very, very potent. That can kill him very, very early. <gasps> but oh he's gonna God. find the. He found the spike. Oh, oh, oh buddy. How does that even happen? Like, I turned my head for one second, and that's it. The stock is gone. That's it. Oh, why, why GG's, bro. Did, why, why did you turn your head? Don't blink. Don't this blink. This is ZSS. You're just gonna lose your stock immediately to something like that. That's insane. Um, Really good of, like, AOS to just be able to bring that all the way back. Um, going into game three, Meister definitely wants to avoid those small stages. He wants Zero to be able to like go in on him and then just like play really, really patiently. But on Smashville, when the space is just so tight like that, um, like Zero is just gonna be all up in game and watch his face, I feel yeah, like. And Meister not just landing in front of AOS like that. And it seems like AOS is, might be a native to MDVA. And mm -hmm. he's, that, this region has a lot of gaming watches. There's, there's like two on the PR, man. Two. Two. That's two more than necessary. But be, uh, aside from that little bit of little bit of little bit of bias, um, right now I feel like they're both just like scrapping, exchanging hits, um, and just like really, really taking turns on dealing damage. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, missing the down smash right there. AOS is really struggling to land or at least get out of disadvantage. He just feels a little bit overwhelmed, I feel like, with all of Meister's ledge trap and the forward air to deal with and the up smash to cover goal. And because he held on so long, he just got hit by that dash attack. So yeah. Meister is just doing a super good job of just, like, making AOS feel so uncomfortable. Yeah, but you saw that right there. He's second, he saw Meister try um gather things for the bucket. He tried to down him, but uh, doing a risky grab like that, he got fair for it. Um, that's what yep. makes ZSS grab not that so safe. Not so safe. There's a lot of end lag, and but there's not a lot of wow. end lag on that flip kick into boost kick. Aos is making this so close, and I feel like this is still like it's anybody's game at this point. But Game and Watch of course excels in low percent combos on Battlefield, where you have all those opportunities for platform extensions with the new chiller and the up air, and you're just gonna see Aos struggle to land so often. Yeah, and. A great movement from AOS to get out that corner. Mm -hmm. Maestro trapped Whoa. him in the corner and... That the movement leg. was amazing. He dashed forward, then did a pivot grab, 
to get the grab. So that was really, really great ledge grabbing for Nails, just yeah. to like um, mix up my stick a little bit. Yeah, and with the down tilt extension, just trying to keep it pressure on. Oh, missing the back air conversion. But you see, he just turned it up another gear. He said, Meister, I'm here to play. Mm -hmm. I like oh. the power up. Ah. Oh. And that, that might have been an attackable. I am not sure. If, the, if it had a good spikes, then I definitely missed it. Um, I think that might have still been attackable. But maybe he did it a little bit too preemptively. He yeah. wasn't expecting all those hits of the multi hit. But there you go. That's exactly what Gaming Watch excels on in Battlefield. That's why it's like. It's. It's, you have to hold that much percentage. Yeah, now he's already at 67% and was in disadvantage. Mm. So oh, he, he needs to look, for, he needs to find his stock quick. That's yeah. not going to kill yeah, right there from tennis, from cross stage. From cross stage on Battlefield, absolutely not. On any other stage, that might have been just enough. Um, uh, maybe maybe WarriorWare. I, maybe don't know, I, I don't know about any other stage. Uh. <laughs> but look at him, now he's playing his game. That's going to try to platform camp him a bit. Oh, mm -hmm. but got caught with by the up airs. Meister is making an amazing like job of just circumventing under the platforms in such a way that he's just like perfectly outside of all of AOS's like threatening hitboxes. Yeah, and Meister is also doing a, another good job just trying to make it. Oh. Yeah, catch him right there. But he made AOS go for a riskier option because mm -hmm. the second he felt, saw AOS trying to like stall him out, 